like to sign up to be on the um, Move On um, committee. Or not a committee, but an action Hello. group. Oh, are you I'm with really the Move On group? Where right. is Virgil's yeah. office? It's just down the street here. On the, under left? the On the left, under the second awning. Second awning. is not a spectator sport. I saw that on the web this morning and decided I should print it out and remembered I had a, an iron on, so. Oh. <laughs> Aiden. People who attended the, um, the Ground Truth movie night. And we have already mailed uh, this other letters to Senator, the, the two senators. So these are for, since he was local, we figured we could come here and do this ourselves. Show me the sign. Uh huh. You are the decider. Well, let's have a vote. When it goes to the House of Representatives, he's going to vote. Like, hey, look at that. Congress is the decider. Thank you. So what do you anticipate are doing? Uh, well, just walking into the office. Uh, his secretary will be there. He won't be. Mm -hmm. And people who have letters will just approach her and introduce yeah. themselves, say they have letters, and um, give them to her. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably express a desire that he um, pay, read them and pay attention. Okay. Uh, we're not there to occupy the office, get arrested, or do anything. Move on suggested if there are more than 20 people, that, that more than 20 people do not go in. Yeah, but I don't think we have 20 people. Can do for you? Well, Esther, we're all from the Move On organization, mm -hmm. and many of us have um, letters for Representative Move okay. from all different places. I have three things here. My name is Ken Zellin. Okay. I'm a citizen of Charlottesville, and these are um, well, probably 30 or 40. They're all separate by line. Mm -hmm. of messages that were all uploaded by individuals to the Move On website. Okay. Um, and you can see the person's name and where they're from. So, so those are all opinions and messages that people would like Representative okay. Boo to read. All right. I will make sure he gets them. Okay. And then last week we showed a very interesting movie called The Ground Truth. This is an award-winning documentary um, made of the experiences of returning military personnel will come back to our country and their concerns how their, their experiences in Iraq, how they're currently being treated by the government. And we found it, you know, those of us who watched it found it to be very informative. And um, Martin Shank, who's here today, mm -hmm. um, is giving this as a gift to Representative Green Park Second Group. Please watch it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then these are some more letters, handwritten. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, by people all throughout Charlottesville and Albemarle, okay. and, and I'm sure they would like those to be read too. Excuse me, when I come I'll back in them. two weeks, is it okay if I uh, ask if he's watched it yet, please? I, I, I mean, you're welcome to. Okay. I'll Maybe check with him let him know <laughs> when he's watched. I'll send him to him. Yeah. I represent a group from Nelson County, mm -hmm. uh, Nellie's Ford, Virginia. We also had a movie night, and many people wrote letters. So. Okay. Um, Same movie. Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Here's another Get a letter. Man, just a moment. All right. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. My name is Lewis Cable. Cable, this okay. Is, yes, this Lewis is a letter for the congressman. As well, with the same... I, I spoke to him before we went to war. Okay. And told him the very mistakes that would occur. And I would hope that he would remember that okay. conversation. He was not in the office that day. There was a whole group of us. And we spoke to him when he was up in D.C. Okay. But what I'd like to remind him is my letter really says 
this man in the White House has to go. He has to get out of office. I don't care what the means are. This man that's in the White House, his father, yes. his father told him, he told him five years before we got in this misadventure in Iraq, he said, had we gone the invasion route we're talking about, Bush Sr., mm -hmm. had we gone the invasion route, this is a quote out of his father's book, the U.S. could conceivably still be an occupying power in a bitterly hostile land. Does this sound familiar? Mm -hmm. It would have been a dramatically different and perhaps barren outcome. This was Senior telling the world five years before this war why we should not go into Iraq. Hussein is one thing. Iraq is another thing. And this was a 1998 book. It was published in Time magazine. If this man in the White House now can read, and he obviously wasn't talking to his father very well before he set us on this horrific path that we're in. So please remind the congressman, maybe he wants to change horses. Maybe he wants to stop supporting this man in the White House. Did you put that in your letter oh, as well? It's all here. Okay. It's all here. All right. May I, ask, okay. may I ask a question? Um, is it possible to make appointments to see him in person? I mean, I'm really disappointed that he's not here right now. Yeah, he has a scheduler, uh, okay. Judy Maddox. You can you call can her at the Danville office, okay. and she Does will let you know when he's in this area or okay. wherever you may want to meet with him. So you call the Danville office? Mm -hmm. yeah. You need that number? Um, I can get it. It's on okay. the Internet. Yes, it's it readily mm -hmm. available. All right. Okay. So Now, is it okay if I send them all in one packet? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure. And he's always good about writing back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put a little personal note on there. Please watch this movie. It's great. Okay. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I will do that. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Thank you're you're welcome. welcome. The movie well, we is a gift of Martin. Martin? Yeah, Martin. Uh, yeah, you got him here. My okay. name is Ken Zellin. Ken Zellin. Thank you. Z E L I. I'm here. That's what I'm here for.